Hey, Seth, David here with the world-famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. And in this edition of Nerd's Guide to the Galaxy, we're talking about QuickBooks Online bank feeds and undoing transactions. Now, there, I want to make a distinction. There's unmatching transactions and then there's undoing transactions. So I'm going to kind of walk you through a few things in the bank feeds area of QuickBooks Online and explain the difference and some of the important implications, thing that's import things that are important for you to understand. Um, this came up in a conversation in my 97 and Up group this week as of the time I'm recording this. Uh, and I wanted to confirm something. I still don't know for sure what the answer is yet, even as I'm doing this recording live. So we're going to find out. We're going to discover this together. Because at the end of the day, um, we had a, a difference of opinion, let's just call it, where one person said, this is what happens. I said, no, I don't think that happens. And so, and, but then another person chimed in. They were ganging up on me and claiming that I was wrong. So, of course, I'm perfectly willing to concede that I may have been wrong. I even said so. I, I said I, I could be wrong, but I don't think that's how that works. So anyway, we're going to test it and find out for sure. That's the only, the only way to know for sure is to test it yourself and find out for sure. So let's dive in and have a look at my screen. I've got my bank feeds up here, right? And it's important. I want to start from here. So I've got a bunch of transactions that downloaded recently, right? As you can see, I've got rules for everything. But what I want to pay particular attention to is this one. It found a match, okay? So there's a distinction that I want to make here between a transaction that just downloaded from the bank and got added into the register versus one where the transaction was already in QuickBooks and then it downloaded from the bank and it finds a match and it matches them up. So hold that thought because that's going to be an important thing I want to test and you'll understand what I mean when I go to test the implications. My suspicion is when I undo this transaction after I confirm the match, the original transaction is still going to be in the register. Whereas one that got added in just from the bank feeds never existed in QuickBooks Online in the register before that. Those, what I'm, what I'm testing here, my belief is that when I undo those transactions in the bank feeds, that <coughs> it will still leave the sort of copy that it made, the transaction in the register. The two Gregs in 97 and up ganged up on me. I'm kidding, of course. But they both said that they it won't. It will actually delete them from the register. So that's ultimately what I want to test here. And then I'll show you what the difference is between undoing versus unmatching a transaction. No question, unmatching a transaction leaves the original transaction in the register, just kicks the match in the bank feed back out to the queue where, you know, like we're looking at right now where it's being sort of reviewed. Okay. So let's get these transactions added in. Um, I'm going to just uh, check all of them and just quickly confirm that everything's got a rule or a match. Okay. And we're going to make note that this Hank Hoyta transaction is the one we want to check. So I'm going to click Accept. Okay. And that's it. By the way, benefits of bank feed rules right there. I'm updating my bank feeds for the first time this week. And boom, in two clicks, it's all in. Right? Because everything was confirmed by a rule or, or a match to an existing transaction. So now we want to look at categorized. Okay. So if I look at categorized, I'm going to find that transaction for... Hank Hoyta in here. Here it is. So this one I'm going to undo. The question is, again, again, my hypothesis, my hypothesis is that when I undo this, the original transaction is still going to be in the register because it was already in there to begin with. So we're going to undo this one. Okay, then I'm going to take one that just would have gotten added straight in without having a match to an existing, right? And you can see the difference here where it says added to or a match to, right? That's an important distinction that I want to make here. So I'm going to undo this one. The question is, after I undo this one, will this $18 Google transaction still be in the register for this account? So it's September 5th, $18. I'll click undo. Now let's go into the register and see if we see these two transactions, Okay. So $18 on September 5th. Let's go to the last transaction from the 5th. And sure enough, the $18 is gone. So the Gregs were correct. If you undo a transaction that got added in from the bank feed, you know, solely, um, then it does remove it from the register when you undo it. Now let's go find my Hank Hoyta transaction. That would have been for $600. And sure enough, that one is still here. And notice it doesn't have the little green indicator. This green indicator means it's been matched up or, or it was downloaded in the bank feeds, right? The C means it cleared, meaning it's been matched up or otherwise added in through the bank feeds, right? In other words, this confirms that this is really a reconciled transaction. It's just not officially reconciled until we get the statement and 
go through that process, right? So now let's go back to my bank feeds area, right? So over here, and you're also looking at the newest, the latest sort of menu that uh, you have. You'll you'll get a pop-up if it's rolled out to you, asking if you want to try out the new menu layout. So we're going to go to transactions and bank transactions. Okay, back over here for review. Again, I'll confirm the match, and I'll add this back in. And now let's go back to the bank register and confirm what we see. There's my $18 notice. It's cleared and it's got the little online banking uh, indicator, meaning it's been, you know, uh, cleared through the bank feeds. Let's go back and find Hank. There he is. And sure enough, now he's in there. He was matched up. He was already in the register, as we saw. But now he's both cleared and, you know, because it's matched... And it's, it's funny, this says manually added from the bank feeds, which is not 100% accurate because what we just confirmed was it wasn't really manually added from the bank feeds, it was matched from the bank feeds. But whatever, you get the point, right? So that is the implications. Now, let's confirm the difference between undoing, which is what we just did, versus unmatching, which is where I can go into, let's find that Google transaction again, and I'll edit this transaction. So when I, when I drill into the transaction itself, up here, I can see that it's confirmed that there's an online banking match. If I use this option, if I unmatch it, which is different from undoing it, right? Unmatching it will leave this transaction in the register. And of course, it will take that linked transactions that downloaded from the bank and put it back in the queue as if it's still waiting to be added. So let's go back here. And sure enough, it loads, and now it, it sees it because I do now have the original transaction in the register. So rather than offering for me to add it, I can just confirm and match it, right? Same thing. So that's an important distinction. It's really important to understand these little sort of what I like to refer to as behaviors. You know, the way QuickBooks Online or any software application I'm using, the way it behaves, right? These little subtle differences can make a big difference in terms of, your understanding of how best to tackle a particular problem. Where this came up was somebody in our group had a question about he had to delete a whole bunch of transactions um, that uh, because he was doing a cleanup job and they were, they were just wrong and he wanted to get them out of the register altogether. So the question was, you know, how to best go about doing that. And one of the suggestions was go through here and undo them all because that will actually remove them from the register, but be careful, it's not going to remove all of them. It will only remove the ones that were purely added in from the bank feeds, as I just demonstrated. If any had already been in the register and just got matched up, those will still be left in the register. My suggestion, ultimately, if you have to delete a lot of transactions like that, is use Sassant, which is the tool many of you have heard me talk about that I use to import transactions in bulk, but it's also got a bulk deleter that works really, really well. The caveat here, if you're trying to delete a bunch of transactions based on stuff that's in a bank account that you need to get rid of, is you have to do it one transaction type at a time. So you can remove all deposits, you can remove all expenses, and so on. You know, you do it in batches by transaction type. Still going to be a lot faster than one at a time trying to pick these off. Or even, frankly, I think going into the bank feeds and undoing all of it. Um, even that, you then still have to, first of all, you can, um, you can only, can you batch undo? I think you can, actually. Let's go in here. Right, and if I say select all, yeah, you can batch undo. So that would be a quick way to get that part done. But again, keep in mind, you're, you still may end up with some residual stuff in the register based on things that weren't added originally from the bank feeds, but rather were in the register, the bank feed downloaded, then they got matched up. Those items are still going to be left in the register. So you'll still have probably two waves of deletion to do th that way. And that way you can only do those remaining transactions one at a time. So my opinion, you're better off using a tool like Sassant because for sure in Sassant you can just wipe them all in one shot and and then go in and just confirm and make sure there's nothing else to be cleaned up. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That's QuickBooks Online Bank Feeds Undo Transactions and the distinction, of course, between that and unmatching transactions and all the implications in terms of what leaves a transaction in the uh, bank register versus what actually removes it. As always, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. You can jump into our free Guide to the Galaxy Slack community and ask any questions about any of my videos or articles that you've seen. If you do, please reference the, like, give me the link to the video or article because sometimes it may have been a while since I've seen it. So it will really help me to uh, better and more quickly and more intelligently answer your questions. That's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you 
in the galaxy.